This week's sermon is about Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ was a man that the Lord put into the land to live in peace, love, and harmony, to preach to the people in those communities of poverty and extreme wealth how to live their lives better. There are many great works on Jesus today. Can you see the incredible marketing that Jesus' men did, that tribe of twelve? We often say it takes a village to rear a child, but what are our villages of our family and friends teaching people? Are they teaching children, regardless of their age, to lie, steal, and cheat other people out of their lawful rights before the house of the Lord or before the house of our world? You see, there is two sets of rules in certain people's minds when really in the Lord at this time there's pretty much one set of rules that is the foundation for all of the laws around the world today you see what we have the right to do is freedom of religion under the US Constitutional's First Amendment but freedom of religion means I have the right to worship my way without you telling me that my way is immoral when I channel for people, they are often blown away by my accuracy, and I apologize say, it is not me who knows you. It is the Lord Most High, Odin, who represents every aspect of the world in you who knows you. It might be Jesus Christ who died for you, but are you saved in the way that you live your life today? Being pagan doesn't mean that I hate Christ. Being pagan doesn't mean that I deny his word. Being pagan means I have the right to read any words from around the globe on the Lord to improve my understanding and my wisdom about the house of God, which someday God will call me home to. It is my right to and my privilege and my responsibility and my accountability to, to improve my life the way I choose. If I choose to worship the Son of Man or the Sun with the stars in the sky, that is my right. The other day I was seated outside one of the lakes where I like to feed the geese. I'm sort of paying attention to four or five that have been harmed by something or someone or just accidental things that happen to them. Nowadays, those handful come and see me on their own, but they're still cautious of me, and I value that indiscretion or discretion, depending on how you see. But it was at sunset, and all of them stopped feeding and turned to look at the sun that was setting in the sky. About 50 of these geese did this. And all I kept hearing in my soul was Jesus is standing there encouraging them to stop feeding and allow the lesser of them to partake in the meal. I also got told to stand my ass up because I was the only one not standing for the Lord and I did that. And they stood still while that sun started to drift down. It reminded me a little of the lessons we learned from the movie that was good or bad, depending on your perspective, with Nicolas Cage and Meg Ryan about City of Angels, in which the angels went off at the sun to bask in the sun to recharge themselves and to worship the Lord. Many little moments in films that we see are of God out teaching men about Jesus teaching men about honor, teaching men about love and passion. There is a passion in people for the women or the men that Jesus Christ has placed on their life for them.